So we're going to look at how to subtract mixed numbers. It's very similar to adding mixed numbers. So you see here, I have my picture model. So I have three holes, one, two, three, and one hole here. And I'm going to divide this last one into thirds. Oops, sorry about that. So I'm just going to go uh, do a darker blue. So I'm going to go across, oops, and there we go. So I have one third here. And down below, I'm going to change my color. And let's make it orange. And I'm going to choose to put it in half. Oops, that was not very straight. Close enough. And you'll see I have one half and one third. And it's really difficult to, um, to take apart one half or one, one half from one third. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an equivalent uh, denominator or an, a common denominator, excuse me. So I'm going to take my half from down below. I'm going to bring it up here. I'm going to cut it into my thirds. And I am sure you know that one, two, three, six, here's four, five, six, is equivalent to one half. Now you'll notice that I have two six, and I need to subtract three six from that, and I cannot do that. So what I need to do is come over here to my whole number, and I can divide it into six parts. So I'm going to do that. Because I know that six sixes, which is what this is, is equivalent to one whole. I'm just breaking it apart. So now I have six sixes plus my two six. Six six plus my two six. So six six plus two six gives me eight six. So let me rewrite that down here. That's eight six. And I got that from here. Now I can subtract this three six that's down here. And eight six subtract three six is five six. Now I have to go deal with my whole numbers. And since I took this one whole and broke it apart, so that I had enough to subtract. I'm left with two holes, and I need to take away one of them, which of course leaves me one hole. So my answer is one and five, six. Looking at the algorithm to this, I can break this apart and say three thirds, is, or three and one third is equivalent to three thirds plus three-thirds plus, plus three-thirds because each three-third is equal to one whole. So that gives me one, two, three holes, and another one-third, which gives me three, six, nine, plus one is ten-thirds. So ten-thirds is equivalent to three and one-third. A quick way to do that is three times three, so the denominator times the whole number, is nine. And then you would add the numerator. So that would be ten. And that's how we got ten-thirds right here. So we're going to do a similar process with the one and one half. So one half, and I need my parts in two. So two halves is equivalent to one whole plus one half, which equals two halves plus one half, three halves. Now I have ten thirds subtract three halves. I still have my problem of common denominator. So I find my common denominator, which is 6, 
And I think two times what equals six? Two times three. So if I multiplied my new denominator by three, I must multiply my numerator by three, and that will give me nine six. And we knew it was six because we found that out over here. So I think three times what equals six, and that is two. So if I multiplied my denominator by two, I'm going to multiply my numerator by two and get 20. And this way, it gives me an equivalent fraction. So three and one third is really equivalent to 10 thirds, which is also equivalent to 20 sixths. Now I have 26 and I can take away 9 sixths. And that leaves me with 11 sixths. That is an improper fraction. I can get one whole out of that because 6 6 equals one whole. And I'll have five left over out of my six parts. So one and five six is my answer in picture form and in algorithm.